Welcome or welcome back you guys. From the title of the video, I'm sure you guys can already tell. Today we are filming a natural hair video, y'all. I feel like it's been so long since I just did a video of me doing my hair and like my curly hair routine. I have a few videos on my channel where I've done my hair on camera before, but I feel like I need to kind of have some type of balance of hair and makeup on my channel. So... Today, I'm going to be testing out some real OG products on my channel here. I'm going to be testing out the Kinky Curly products, you guys. I was really excited to purchase these. These are a set of products that have always been in the back of my mind, but I've never really tried the products. Um, I'm going to tell you all the reason why. I just feel like there's always so many products that I never have really gotten a chance to just pick these up. So I was doing a Target order like last week or a week or two, something like that. And I was looking at the beauty section, of course. I was really on Target to get towels, but y'all know how that goes. So I ended up just looking at the beauty section and I was like, kinky curly like I've always wanted to try it but I just never have so I threw it in my car and went ahead and purchased it and so now I'm about to try kinky curly for the first time ever also I feel like when these products were like really popping and really popular I really wasn't into natural hair and I was in the beginning of my natural hair journey so it was back when I was just trying to try so many products and figure out what was good for my hair but I really just needed to let my hair rest and let it do its thing so yeah you guys I have my hair in this towel because I just got out of, well I didn't just got out of the shower actually like I got out of the shower a couple hours ago and I put my hair in this um, little towel thing so I'm gonna take it down so my hair is probably really dry right now Oh, and y'all, I've cut my hair, so if my hair looks a lot shorter, it's because it is. I cut my hair the last silk press that I got. The reason I cut my hair is just because I wanted a different look, so maybe I'll put some pictures or a video or something of what my hair looked like when I, you know, pretty much chopped it off, but it was so, so cute. I just never got around to filming it or filming anything with it because it was around my birthday time, and like I told y'all in like the last video, for my birthday, I was just like completely out of the YouTube zone, which I know is so bad, but yeah. So here's what my hair is looking like. It's mostly dry. I am going to wet my hair down before I apply these products because y'all already know I cannot apply no product on no dry hair. So give me just a second. you guys so I've kind of wet my hair a little bit more um, I'm gonna be you know going through my spray bottle as I apply these products today but I just want to go ahead and get right into these products so I have two products by kinky curly today and the first one that I'm gonna be using is called kinky curly not today natural leave-in detangler so I'm excited because I love a leave-in you know I like leave-ins that have a lot of slip and can just really moisturize my hair so I'm hoping I get like a lot of moisturization from this product today and just to talk a little bit about it I'm gonna read the back of the bottle y'all know I gotta read the back of the bottle for y'all so it says ooh, <laughs> it says can't get that comb to glide through your hair well not today and it says not like not today k-n-o-t not in your hair that's cool this creamy herbal conditioner is enriched with botanical extracts and is designed to smooth the cuticle and to remove knots snarls and tangles from thick curly hair so they have directions for thick coarse curls and loose wavy curls you already know i'm gonna go with the thick direction so i'm not gonna read the wavy directions if you want you can look that up online but let me go ahead and read you the directions for the thick curly girls so apply generously and work through troubled sections with a wide tooth comb so it says we're going to use a generous amount um, of the leave-in and completely detangle the hair before applying any other kinky curly styling product and the styling product today that we have is the curling custard so what I'm gonna do is pretty much work this product into my hair and then I'm going to um, 
go in and talk about the custard. So I'm gonna keep wetting my hair and just work that product in. It's actually a really light scent. So if you're that type of person that doesn't really like scented products, I kind of think that you might like this based off the scent, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my hair. Yeah, it's really light. Like I can't even um, put a thought about what it smells like. So just opening the bottle here. So this is what the product looks like. I want to say it's thick, but it's not thin either. It's not runny at all. Um, so I'm just going to start applying this. It did say use a generous amount, which they didn't have to tell me that. I'm going to use a generous amount regardless if, if this is dime size or not. I'm just not the dime size type of girl. So I'm just going to start working this into my hair. And then I'm going to take my demon brush to detangle. Which hopefully my hair isn't too tangled because I just conditioned. I mean, hopefully it's not tangled because I just conditioned. So, okay. Running through. That's a good sign. And then this is a big section of hair, so I'm going to just run a little bit more of that product through. Yeah, look how short my hair is now. This is so crazy. I am getting just a smidge of definition from this product, but I don't think this is a product for really like to get you some definition. This is more so a product just to get you some moisturization before we apply some product for definition. Okay, you guys, so you guys do know um, one of my sides of hair has a lot more definition than the other, so the product is really defining my right side. I really like how this is feeling so far. What I'm going to do is finish applying my detangler, then I'm going to come back so I can talk about the styling custard. So I pretty much finished coating my hair in the kinky curly not today natural leave-in and my hair feels really moisturized um I don't know if you guys can tell by the part where I kind of sped through but my demon brush was going pretty easily through my hair which I have a great appreciation for because if you're going to claim to be a detangler then you definitely need to detangle my curls as well as I want to see my brush or comb going through my curls so I'm feeling it so far and I just want to show you guys about how much I use from the bottle because it's very important to me when you have a product that can be kind of pricey um, even though this is drugstore like hair products it's not like really a luxury brand you still want to be able to get multiple uses out of it and I was pretty generous I put a lot of this stuff in my hair y'all and I only used you guys can see like I only used that much that's pretty good because I want to be able to get multiple uses out of my bottle, duh. So moving on to this baby right here. This is the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. Um, it is a natural styling gel. Let's see what it wants to do. So on the back of the bottle, it says instantly transform thick, dried, frizzy hair into silky, into silky spirals in wonderful ways. This advanced botanical formula will eliminate frizz, lock in moisture, 
define curls, give brilliant shine, and provide long lasting hold. So I'm gonna read again for the thick coarse curls. The hair must be dripping wet, divide hair into small sections, comb, brush, or rake into each section. Use a spray bottle to re-wet re any dry sections. Smooth with fingers from root to tip to lengthen your curls and reduce the poof. Okay, so I opened the curling custard and it, it smells really, really, it smells sweet. I like it, but I like um, when products smell good, so... Um, I don't know what it smells like though. It smells good though. Um, it's looking like this. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, it's it has like a thick consistency, but you can tell it's kind of water-based. Like the direction said, I'm gonna go ahead and try to section off my hair. Cause I wanna give this a fair shot, so I'm trying to follow the directions even though low-key I don't like doing that. So I'm going to start off working on this side. This is my left side. Um, this is the side that isn't as defined, I guess you should say, as my other side. Why, like I said, I never know, but I'm gonna re-wet my hair. It does say to apply this product on soaking wet hair. Um, I'm probably not going to get it soaking wet, but I'm definitely going to re-wet my hair. So another thing this product wants you to do is kind of work in small sections. So I just have this piece of hair right here, and I'm pretty much just going to apply the product as the um, jar stated to. So, I don't want to take too much. Ooh, that's kind of a lot. Yikes. I like this amount right here. <laughs> so, I'm just going to apply that. Okay. I see a little glide. It's kind of gliding through there, which is like really important. You want your products to glide through your hair. You don't want it to sit on top at all. Okay. Okay, definitely. Okay, wait a minute. I see like something. I see a little pop. Y'all see that little pop? I see a little pop of curl. Okay. Let me... I ain't gonna add no more because I feel like Sometimes you can ruin it if you add too much. Mm. Very interesting. Let me get another section of hair. Apply a little water. Maybe some product. So if it's getting my curls on this side, I wonder what my other side is gonna look like. Cause I feel like that side be really popping. Okay y'all, so on this left side right here, we get some definition cause I this is what I wanted from the Curl Smith custard, and I just didn't get that. Like, I just didn't get that out of that custard, and that custard was just breaking apart, and I could not even really apply it. So, mm, I don't want to speak too soon, but okay, so this is let's see, let me take this out. So, right now we have no product, and then we have some product. So, Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing on this side as well. So you guys, I have applied this product to the back of my hair and I'm not going to lie, I'm intrigued. Like, 
I really want to see what's up with this product. So what I'm going to do is finish applying this curling custard to the rest of my hair and then I'll be right back. Y'all, so I'm back. I cannot believe the definition that I'm getting already from this curling custard. It's, it's looking like this is a go. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's looking like that, but I always gotta see how my hair dries because sometimes you know it might not be looking the same like I mean obviously it's not gonna look the same because I don't have those type of curls where y'all know those curls where you know you watch your naturally naturally curly YouTube the spirals all had it I have coarse thick hair just like this um curling custard says and I have really tight coils I don't have like the springy bouncy you know the the mixed girl curls I'm just gonna say it because we honest on this channel I don't have the mixed girl curls so we gonna see what this you know comes out to be but I just want to show y'all how much product I use I ain't gonna lie I was heavy handed with this product because it's water based that's typically how I am with my custards and other styling gels I'm really heavy handed with those because I want definition I want to see something you know what I'm saying so yeah I'm gonna let my hair dry I think I'm gonna let air dry and then I might go in with the diffuser just a little bit I don't want to cause too much frizz even though my hair is just naturally frizzy anyways but I think I'm gonna um go in with the diffuser just a little bit but for now I'm going to air dry and I'll let you guys know how long I end up air drying and how long I end up diffusing so I'll be back later okay you guys so the verdict is in y'all these products bomb i'm not even gonna lie like kinky curly y'all did y'all's thing with these products and my hair is y'all look how short my hair is look how look where my curls are oh by the way i did say that i was gonna tell y'all whether i air dried or diffused and i'm gonna be honest i was working all day so i just air dried and the results still well these are the results that I really I don't mind um, if I don't have like all the volume and whatnot because day two day three hair if these products are that good day two and day three hair are gonna look even better than this and when my hair is fully dry then you know I can pick out my hair and whatnot um, my hair is not fully dry right now but even though it's not fully dry I still have some like spots where I could tell like okay it's almost done I want to say my hair is about 80% dry I really just feel that it's not you know really dry in the back I just want to show you guys what my hair is looking like so yeah like for me these are some good curls like i said i told y'all i don't have the you know those curls that you know those other girls have i have the coarse the really like tight curls so these are really good results for me i see a lot of definition which that's really important on top of definition though this is the thing you can have definition crunchy or you can have definition soft these curls are definition soft which some people might like that some people may not I can tell like right here in the front I got a little crunch right here because I think I put a little bit too much product here which I don't mind because I know that if I got some crunch my hair won't last some people don't like that though you know it's, it's all personal preference a lot of the stuff that I'm talking to you guys about is really all personal preference to begin with but it's all about what you like I like a little crunch and I like a little soft because I feel like it's just a good combination and my hair is gonna last so all in all first of all let me compare these products really quick because this curling custard right here it reminds me of the custard by miel which is one of my favorite custards it's like a pomegranate um fragranted custard and it smells so bomb and this is definitely giving me those vibes i need to compare the prices because i can know which one's which one costs more but yeah y'all this stuff is so so good and your girl is definitely going to be dipping into these products again with that being said if you guys like curly hair videos and tutorials give this video a thumbs up like i said i got my hair cut so things are looking a little bit different um i cut a lot of dead ends off so yeah 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 we don't really 
curly we don't do dead ends around here we don't like that so I cut off some of my hair and I'm ready to just be filming more hair tutorials y'all should let me know like if y'all want me to do like an updated um, twist out with my short hair oh I haven't seen my hair twist yet so it might look a little crazy might be shrunk up all the way up here but I want to do it low-key so y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a twist out and don't forget subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button so you can be notified every time I upload a video peace